In this video trade is we look at how you can partially close a trade that you have open on MT4. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining MT4 as one of their platform choices. You can choose MT5 as well, but you know MT4, super popular. Our, our channel sponsors, you want to check them out, there's a link to the description below. Multi-regulated, offering loads of markets, and of course, MT4. But in this video, what I'm gonna do is hit the screens in a moment and show you how you can close a trade partially. Now, I think this is an underrated uh, thing. I'm a big fan of scaling in and scaling out of positions, but also it might be the position where okay, things aren't going your way, it's not quite hit your stop, you're not that comfortable with it, then reduce the risk. There's no problem in closing half the position and adding half back on. Even if you have to pay a little bit more, I think reducing the risk on the trades that you don't like isn't a bad way of doing things, rather than the other way that a lot of retail traders think is, hey, I'm gonna add more, add more, add more, and flip it on its head. When a trader is going in your direction, very often you're gonna to wanna to bring up the trade and close partials as you are moving to target one, target two, target three, etc. leaving a runner, whatever you wanna do. So what I do, hit the screens now, we'll look at how we can do it, how we can kind of close part of the trade so that it's coming off the actual underlying trade that we've got on. This is HYCM, guys, MT4. I'll see you on the screens. All right, guys, so I'm in the MT4 platform. If you want to use it, want to use MT4, you want a multi-regulated broker uh, that's offering you a lot of markets to trade, then uh, definitely go and check them out. There's a link to them in the description below. So MT4, super popular, super functional platform. Uh, the platform of choice for many uh, forex traders out there. So let's talk about how you would place a trade and specifically how you would close part of a trade because I think that's an underrated uh, skill that actually as a trader, very often you might wanna close part of a trade. So some of the times you might wanna do this. Uh, let's say a trade's not going your way. You're not happy with it. You've sat with it for a while. It's not working. Um, you wanna reduce your risk. You wanna be in your worst trades with the minimal size possible. A trap that a lot of traders fall into is that they add more risk to trades. Um, so they're in their very worst trades uh, when they're in the, uh, sorry, they're in the biggest size when they're very worst trades. Adding, adding, adding uh, goes against you and you end up getting hammered and you want to do all your hard work one or two days. This way, if you're reducing your position size as the trade goes against you, then you end up kind of minimizing the risks. Um, and also the, on the flip side, you know, if on the flip side, the market's going your favor, you know, take some profits, you might want to reduce the trade. Anyway, how do we place a trade? First of all, open a new order. We've got USD JPY here, and we can set the volume from here, whatever size I want to do. Let's say we want to do six on this. We can put our stop loss in, take profit as we prefer. Uh, we can check the price that we're getting executed at and a very simple sell or buy. So we've decided, let's say, for example, we've decided it's popped out this lower Bolly, um, Bollinger Band. We're in a range, uh, it looking like the kind of trade you want to take. Maybe you want a quick scalp back to that mean, uh, a little 10, 12 pip scalp. You can get your order in, make sure you've got everything, double check it, hit buy, and you are in, you are filled, you get the order execution, get a confirmation, click OK. Now down here I have the terminal uh, open here showing me the trade that I've done. So I bought six USD JPY, the price, if I had a stop loss or take profit in there, which I didn't in this particular trade, um, uh, current price of the market uh, and the profit. Now this is quite an interesting thing to play with guys. If you don't like to see this, so let's say, why would you not want to see this? So let's say you are the kind of trader who gets shaken out of trades too easy. Let's say you've got a couple of thousand dollars or a couple of thousand pounds in your trade profit and you're like, oh, you know, I, I, don't, want to leave, I, don't, want, I don't want that to disappear. I want to grab it. Um, the best thing is to try and remove any reference of uh, money from your account. Now, of course, you've got to manage risk. Of course, you've got to make sure you're not losing uh, more than you want. Risk management is super key, but we all have this uh, link to money. And especially if you're trying to trade a little bit more size, you're trying to run trades a little bit longer, very often you can be up what seemingly is a, is a, a nice amount to you and you want to take that trade because you want to bank it. But in reality, the price might be you know, still just getting going. The trade might be just getting started. And so what I'm trying to say, guys, if you want to remove profit uh, from here, of course, you can just turn off your 
uh, your window window there, but you can also right click and show the profit as points. So rather than actually having it in, in financial terms, you can just see it uh, in terms of points. Now be careful about how many that's showing. Of course, we're in USD JPY here, so you've got to remember what a pip is and what's that, what that is actually showing, but you get the idea. The point is you haven't got that staring you in your face. You can still see your position size, your exposure, all that kind of stuff, but without seeing um, let's say you've got a loss on the book, or let's say you've got a good profit. Let's say we'd held this and this has popped back up and we're there and we want to take some profits or we don't want to take profits yet. We're still waiting to see for a breakout or whatever the situation may be. We probably don't want to have that money aspect of the trade in our faces all the time. Okay, so let's say we wanted to trim this position. We're gonna close some of the position off. We don't like it. We think, okay, you know what? We've given it a bit of time. It's run on a little bit. We don't like it. So we can see now, uh, if, we, if we click that little X there, um, it, it's going to show us our position. And it's gonna show us, hey, you know what? We, we have a position here. And what are we selecting the volume will confirm here, it will change. If we just hit sell here, it will open up as a fresh sell position. If we hit close, this will actually close as half the position because we're currently long six, right? If we want to close half the position for whatever reason, want to trim the risk, want to be more comfortable in it. And I'm always an advocate of that, guys. If you're in a position you don't like, it hasn't hit your stop loss, you're not that comfortable with it, um, trim half. You can just trim half, you can always put half back on. You can always dial your position size back up. There's nothing wrong with trimming the position. So let's say I wanted to do that. We know we're long six. We put three in here, bang, we closing three off. It's confirmed and now you can see that size has now gone down to three. And the same thing if you wanted to just kind of say with this, this price is run on and on, we wanna take some profits on the way. We can just scale out, scale out another one there. And then we can just wait a little bit longer and scale out the rest of it. Let's say once it's closed the position fully now, uh, we've got to, it's auto populated. But that's the other thing guys, when we open it up, we're gonna auto populate with the volume because they're clicking it in reference to the position we've got. Um, we can just hit the close and the position is closed. So very simple and a very underrated skill. I think that as traders, we need to think more personally on being able to scale up and scale down the position to be more comfortable, to reduce the risk, to increase a little bit more risk when things are going our way, um, all that kind of stuff. So it makes sense to be um, have an understanding of how to do that in MT4. They go and check them out, link in the description below. But opening a trade and closing partial amounts of your trade, I think especially for newer traders, we forget, you think it's an all or nothing process. It doesn't have to be that binary, it can be variable. You can have different permutations, you can scale into your trade, scale out of your trade. Like I say, reduce the risk if you're not so comfortable, dial on a little bit more risk if you feel like it. Um, you've got that flexibility uh, within the platform. Take care though, guys, whatever you're doing, make sure you keep the risk managed, however you're trading, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.